welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it's been a while since I've put it, posted anything up um, on social media and YouTube and the rest of it. I've just been busy with sort of normal family life. Obviously having two kids and all that sort of stuff and, and a, a day job is obviously a bit hard to juggle sometimes. But yeah, I'm back for now anyway. So today I am sat in a uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10. Um, this is the FQ300, which basically means it's got 290 to 300 horsepower, depending on, obviously, if you go on a roller door and check it out and all that sort of stuff. But usually, yeah, but usually they come out of the factory with, say, it's 290 horsepower. Um, so this is the SST version, which means it has the automatic gearbox, basically, so it's got paddles. Um, yeah, so, so far, um, I'm, so I've jumped in a tiny bit. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's, it's the first Evo I've sort of ever driven myself, um, so obviously I'm a bit used to sort of the, the whole sort of Evo scene. Um, but from what I know, the first thing, well the biggest thing I know is first is whether you can, I don't know whether you can actually hear it on video, is the induction noise, which is overpowering, it's mental. Um, yeah, it's probably washing noisy, I mean you're bound to hear it on here surely. Um, yeah, so... Also, I believe it was the first generation where they introduced the sort of semi-automatic um, DSG type box. So far, it's, I'm, I'm getting used to it. Um, obviously, like I've said before in previous videos, I prefer manual cars, etc. But no, it's good. It's very quick. Like I said, very similar to DSG in that it's as quick, um, as fast to go through the gears. It's a six-speed box, um, just not a seven-speed or an eight-speed like you get on the sort of a BMW. Um, but yeah, no, really, still really engaging. Um, yeah, pretty cool. There's two modes to choose from. There's a normal mode and there's a sports mode. So obviously, you get in the car to straight sports mode, of course. Um, and the gear ratios are fairly, well, I say fairly close together. Fairly close together into all normal mode um, and then sports mode. They sort of hold on to the gears a lot more. So 290 horsepower, 0 to 60 in about 4.6 seconds. Um, so very quick car. Um, probably the quickest car, the quickest car I've been in. Or quickest car physically driven, possibly at the moment. Yes, uh, on paper it probably is. Um, so yeah, very impressed so far. Um, so it's obviously got the the Mitsubishi four-wheel drive system, um, as in all Evos do, um, which means you could sort of put the power pretty much anywhere. Um, you don't really need to worry about the weather or anything like that, which is pretty cool. Just going to turn around here because uh, <laughs> trying to go back up the road. First thing I notice when reversing this car, so from a practicality point of view, there's obviously a massive spoiler in your rear view. Um, which is cool though, I do, do like that. Seating position is awesome. Um, it's like perfect basically, it's, it's yeah, really good. You can't get any better. Fairly low. Um, these seats are amazing as well. There you go, a bit of open road, that's about a bit. It's just so planted. It just goes, absolutely goes. Oh, the handling is epic, absolutely epic in this car. Uh, yeah, handling is awesome, especially in sports mode, which obviously tightens everything up. The steering is really tight, you know, any slight movement, and you know exactly where you're going. Um, at speed as well, the cornering at speed is just pretty epic. Exhaust note wise, obviously, it's a two litre turbocharged engine. Um, it's not the most inspiring note in terms of engine noise. I mean, I'm sure like an exhaust would uh, would sort of do that a good justice. <laughs> Subaru, you know, 
there's a massive cult following for these type of cars, especially you know, JDM in general. JDM is huge in, in, in the UK, uh, and obviously even, even in America and things like that, but you can sort of see why these cars are so appealing. Um, like I said, they're not the best to look at interior-wise, you know, they're not flashy, they're not like your sort of BMW, Audi in terms of, you know, you expect sort of aluminium or carbon fibre, it's not about that, it's more about the sort of driver appeal. You could just throw this car around any corner and just you know it'll stick. It's yeah, it's pretty epic. Pretty epic. Again, so you could override the gears like in any sort of semi-automatic car, so you can downshift a few gears. Like I said, instant. Don't know if you can hear that, but instant gear change. Yeah, that induction noise is so Awesome. You can hear it sort of blow off valves and kicking off as well, releasing the pressure. <laughs> wow, this car is wicked. On. This is awesome. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just enjoying the moment too much. That is one of the things I found when I'm sort of reviewing these cars and actually filming them is that I find that because I'm sort of too busy sort of filming them themselves, I sort of, it sort of takes away the fact that I'm physically driving them, if you know what I mean, so I'm sort of out at the moment sometimes. So it's four seater or five seater if you think of the middle. Um, yeah, just double checking. <laughs> um, it's got four doors. It's a sort of saloon version. So you know, practical from, from a sort of if you're thinking of buying this car and you had a family, etc. Yeah, really cool. Um, boot is decent size. Um, what you get on this Evo 10, you get sort of a wider body kit than the, the, the old school um, Evo 9 version. You get a diffuser, you get nice twin pipes at the back, um, which is a yeah, nice, nice look of the car. Um, so the Evo 10 was a completely redesigned from sort of Mitsubishi's um, Lancer, you know, blueprint as such. Uh, it was a complete different change um, when they brought this car out back in 2009, I believe. Um, so yeah, big change when it came out, but a lot of people loved it. Chassis is wicked, super rigid. Suspension is awesome. A bit, you know, it's a bit hard, but it's again, it's, it's a sports car. At the end of the day, you know, you're not going to get sort of comfort in, 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 a, in a car like this. You know, derived from from rallying, etc. Um, but brilliant, yeah, absolutely brilliant so far. Cornering wise, gearbox. I've, I've had, have you heard sort of bad reviews on it? I don't find anything wrong with it. You know, it's exactly the same as a TSG box, and that that always gets you know loads of love. So I don't see what the big issue is in terms of the gearbox. It's instant and there's no delay. I get you know, I get people like the old school manual of, of an Evo, etc. But yeah, it doesn't make any difference if it wants to do. Let's go drop down a few gears now. <laughs> wow, that's quick. So planted, I mean, it's not brutal. I guess there's a lot of sort of rear-wheel drive cars, obviously, and there's four drive, it's quite different. But there's a lot of rear-wheel drives where when you put the power down, especially sort of BMWs, it's very brutal in terms of the gear shifts, etc. Um, but because it's four-wheel drive, it just puts the power down, there's no sort of scrabbling or anything. It's, it's great, absolutely great to drive. I can see, you know, I can see the appeal. Um, thanks again to Rodden Road Cars for lending me the car for a couple for an hour or so. 
um, just so I can get a feel of it and you know, take some shots and video it, etc. Um, be sure to go check them out. This car is for sale on their website. Um, yeah, go check it out if you're interested. They've got good rates of finance, etc. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.